A lot of whistling and sounds as you can hear. Last night I was watching a movie and I heard some uh, explosions, which I thought was in the movie. Whoa. 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 It's getting more severe. I ran outside, looked to the west, and saw a huge plume of smoke, and the sky was lit up. Saw huge flames, 200 feet in the air, with black smoke billowing seven to 800 feet up. How big was this fire? <gasps> it was huge. Incredible images from a deadly overnight inferno on the 400 near Barrie. At least three people are dead following a fiery 14 vehicle pileup. And the carnage even more apparent in the light of day. Several vehicles burnt down right to their frames and large sections of the highway melted with the intense heat of the flames. And as you can see from where we're standing on an overpass overlooking Highway 400, all lanes still remain closed to traffic as investigators continue to pull apart this scene piece by piece. For now, let's go over to Tammy Sutherland with more on last night's fiery collision and the investigation today. I have never seen a collision scene of this magnitude with this significance. Uh, it is just, uh, it is just uh, almost Armageddon. There is cars, twisted metal, debris everywhere. An inferno exploding along Highway 400 overnight. Loaded fuel tankers and tractor trailers were among the vehicles ablaze on the stretch between Highway 88 and 89. Viewer video showing flames filling the road and sky just before 11.30 last night. The scene being described by police as apocalyptic. As the fire uh, continued to flow down the highway, as the fuel was pouring out of the tanker trucks, uh, people were literally running for their lives to escape uh, the moving wall of fire that was coming towards them. The exact cause of the crash is still being investigated, but police believe a minor three-car collision about 40 minutes prior may have been a factor. Traffic on the 400 slowed down because of that smaller crash. Police are now looking into the possibility one of the now charred fuel tankers slammed into the traffic backup, causing the explosion and chain reaction crash. Hours later, several trucks were still parked on the side of the 400 after being caught behind the collision. Other trucks were either too long or were carrying too heavy of a load to turn around or reverse off of the highway. And that meant that some truck drivers had to stay out here all night long. Local residents brought coffee to some of the drivers who've been waiting all night to be escorted off of the road. I kept hearing small explosions. Boom, boom, boom. Gerard Fortin was watching a movie when he heard the explosions and went toward the crash scene with his son. He took these images of the flames shooting into the sky and shot this video of some of the wreckage earlier this morning. Some vehicles that are completely burnt right out, ones that are approximately, oh, 100 meters away were burnt out. So the heat must have transferred to those vehicles. Fire departments from eight different municipalities responded trying to tackle the flames. The fire was so intense, crews had to allow the flames to burn out themselves. It took them about two hours to get the fire under control. EMS, uh, fire, police, uh, and emergency response were already on scene within a kilometer, and their response times was, I would say, within seconds. Police say the sky was clear, the roads were dry, and visibility would not have been an issue at the time of the crash. Several factors will now come into play with the investigation, and that includes possible mechanical issues or driver error. In Bradford, Tammy Sutherland, City News.